What's going on everybody? So we recently talked a little bit about sweet picking and one of the things or exercises that we put in there was a simple chord scale idea. And for those of you who are familiar with the videos on my channel, I'm a big proponent of the chord scale, right? A lot of us have limited practice time and we wanna attack multiple different things and a chord scale lets us do that. So let's expand on that a little bit. We're gonna look at some triads and arpeggios, sweet picking through the chord scale, all right? I am in standard tuning. Down in the description below, you can find a link for the tabs that you'll see flashing across the screen, okay? So what are we doing? We're gonna play a D major scale. And we're gonna put a chord on every one of those notes. Okay, and that's gonna, one, teach us our triads, teach us our chords, teach us all the chords that are in a key, and then if you really wanna get in, you can find out like, well, why are all those chords the way they are, right? So you can do a lot with just one little exercise. So let's look at this for example. So we have major triad, pinky on five of the A string, so there's D, F sharp is four of the next string, A is two of the next string, five, four, two. Right? That is a major chord, right? It's a basic triad, just the three notes. Now that is one way you can play this chord. And we're basically gonna move between the major shape and the minor shape. And the only difference between the major and minor, instead of five, four, two, it's five, three, two. And if you play them back and forth with each other, that kind of dark sadness overtones come in when you play that, all right? So it's always good to know where those two notes are, where the third is in those chords. You can play it together, and you get real bluesy and cheesy with it. Scale the first one is major, the next two are both gonna be minor. I put my pinky on seven, and I play the minor shape, and then I put my pinky on nine, and that's another minor shape, so I have. Not too bad. And it's again, it's only these two shapes. Continuing on 10 and 12, we have major. Okay, so it's major on five, minor, minor, major, major. Continuing on 12 or 14, minor, B minor. And here's the only one that's different. When I go up to that 16th fret, this chord is actually diminished. So we're gonna take our minor shape, and that high note, it's gonna go down an extra fret, so it's a little bit. 16, 14, 12. Okay, and that is your basic chord scale. It's extremely musical sounding, okay? Those chords flow nicely with each other. So now we can expand that, basically five, four, two, and then we're on top of that. We can think about it, we're playing the little, the little D chord that we always know in both position, right? Two, three, two. Okay, so you can think about it as this major chord pivoting off that first finger note and getting that one. And that's kind of how we're gonna sweep through it. So that's how you're gonna wanna kind of visualize that chord, right? We have this triad pivoting off the first finger that triad, and we're just combining those two string sets together. Now, when we move to the minor shape, to make this chord minor, the hop, the high, the hop, the highest note, the top note, has to come down. So then you get four, five, three. Am I familiar with two major to minor? So those are the shapes. high string, right? So if you're familiar with triads, this is a great triad study. Major in second position, minor, four, five, three, six, seven, five, minor, F sharp, G, seven position, seven, eight, seven, move that up a whole step, there's A major, nine, ten, nine, B minor, 11, 12, 10, here's that awkward one, 
The diminished one, 12. Just bar 12 and put your ring finger on the B string 14. And all that tension resolves really nicely. And again, we talked about this in the sweep picking video, right? I, this is extremely common. These little arpeggios, extremely. So again, we're learning these shapes and we're just repeating them. Right? So we get these nice big shapes. So just to recap, if we're gonna sweet pick just those, basically, we're raking on the first three, upstroke, and pulling off with the pinky, and then upstroke on that second string again, and then it repeats down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, up. Okay. So now, if we combine those, so remember we talked about the pivot off the first finger between the two strings. The minor one that's going to be really exaggerated, right? Because when we play the minor one, pinky, middle finger, first finger middle finger, we're going to want to grab this note with our first finger. It kind of opens up our hand and allows us to do this. So it's almost like you're swinging your hand, right? Okay, that was probably the first sweeping minor arpeggio that I learned and I always find that one easy and accessible, okay? So let's do that. Let's go up from the G string and then all the way back down to the root note on five. Okay? And then when we do that, up, 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 up. And that'll help us get this in control. Right? Right? Nice in control of that upstroke, right? We don't want this, we want. Right? So one of the things you can do is just practice dead notes. Works really well. Okay? And then the last step we can do to this is maybe we can put a little idea. A little scale fragment. Right? Which will kind of just really solidify where that scale is on the, on the low string, right? So the last little bit of this, you can go up this chord or, or however you want. <laughs> Do one of those. And you can pick that or you can slur that, all right? Whatever you, you are working on. If you're working on some legato, hammer-ons and pull-offs, then that slur it all but if you're working on your picking you can do that as well okay so and we can connect those by shifting up to the next chord with our pinky right so coming down like that shifting with the first finger There you go. Love me some chord scale, right? You get some music theory, you get triads, you get arpeggios, you get sweet picking, you get alternative picking, right? Very musical exercise that hits a lot of different categories that we as guitar players should be familiar with. So down in the description below, you can find uh, the links to the tabs that we're going on. If you dig what's going on, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that stuff. And as always, let me know what you come up with. So until then, I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.